It's one of the most commonly committed crimes in the country, drunken driving. And people get away with it far more often than they are caught. Caitlin Ross is live tonight. Caitlin, people try every excuse in the book once they are pulled over. Shannon, they do. No matter what they've been drinking, some people try and blame what's in their cabinet versus what's in their cup. Offenders have used everything from the South Beach diet to Invisalign braces to an inhaler to try and get out of DUI. But when it comes right down to it, do any of them really work? You want justice at a fair price? Hire the Bulldog. Orange is it your color. Call the full service law offices. If you see yourself in similar circumstances, you should call Viagard too. And we'll help you win back your life. Uh, where to go to look for answers, how to look for answers. Uh, sometimes just be creative and find new answers. In 20 plus years of practicing DUI law, attorney David Robbins has found his fair share of answers. A Jacksonville expert at DUI defense, he says after a new client is pulled over, the process is painstaking. We begin looking for defenses from the very beginning. The legality of the stop. What was the reason for the stop? Was it legal or was it not legal? DUI defense is a multi-million dollar industry and attorneys fight hard for a piece of the pie. Some local websites brag about how drunk their clients were before getting them off. Robin's firm spends thousands of hours researching impaired driving defenses. His phone line is staffed 24 hours a day for clients pulled over at any hour and he's willing to test out a new defense. What appears to be crazy to you quite frankly, is not always crazy. Though he admits there are some wild ideas out there. Just last month, a Clay County man claimed a squirrel in his shirt was to blame. DUI attorney websites claim anything from braces to the South Beach diet can alter your blood alcohol level. And old wives tales claim a broken arm or a penny under your tongue can get you out of an arrest. The penny in your mouth is not valid, but there are issues with breath testing when there is something in your mouth that will trap alcohol in your mouth. Okay? That is a legitimate issue. According to the Florida Highway Safety Commission, nearly 60,000 people are arrested each year for DUI. Many of them convicted by the results of a roadside breathalyzer test, which Robbins takes issue with. But for people in the fight against DUI, those tests are judge and jury. I believe the intoxilizer is is 100% legit, and if you blow over 0.08, you blow over 0.08 on it. Linda Kaysen is an advocate with MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. She was the victim of DUI crash in the 70s and says her work with the program has defined her. I'm here. I'm alive. I survived. Um, I like to think I survived because I'm supposed to be doing this. She works with both the victims of DUI and the offenders and says the excuses she hears from lawyers about impaired drivers are ridiculous. They're grasping at straws because they can't find anything legitimate out there. So, you know, you got to pull it, pull it out of thin air, whatever you can. Whether they have a lawyer or not, she says most DUI offenders find themselves in the same position. We hear, you know, five, six, seven, ten, fifteen thousand dollars for that lawyer and where are you right now not to mention the cost of soaring insurance rates fixing the damage or jail time if someone is seriously injured or killed was it worth it and in the end the people who see police lights in their rearview mirror might be the lucky ones according to the florida highway patrol more than a thousand people are killed in alcohol related incidents in florida every year Reporting live in Jacksonville, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News. Caitlin, very interesting. Thank you very much for that report.